In this video, we learn how to hatch our corridors, our road corridors using code set styles. So this is our road corridor. This is a road corridor starting from this end towards the other end. We can even look at its cross section. We can go here to section editor and check its cross section. So let's see. Okay, let me ta let me change this scale to something smaller so that we see what's going on. Yeah, so for this road, this is at zero four forty five chainage. So if you go all the way back to the start, you can see how the the cross section looks like for this road. So that's how it looks like. So you have a median here. There's a carriageway on this side and on this side. So that's the road. So if we go back to our model, this is the corridor itself. So on one side, there's a, there's a drainage. On the other side, there's nothing. There's just a curb. Uh, let me see whether I can find the, the cross sections. Yeah. So on one side, there's a drainage. Let me change the scale back to what it was. And it's the 500. So on one side, there's a drainage. On the other side, there's not. And then there's the median. There's a median uh, at the center. So there's a there's a median. So this, these two assemblies are forming up this, this corridor. So we want to learn how we can hatch our, pav our pavement and maybe even hatch our ditch so that we give this um, corridor a display style that is a little bit better than what we see right now. So currently, if I were to... Let me just clean up the drawing so that I provide more space. So if I was to click on the corridor here and I go to its properties, the code set style that is governing the display here is, is called all codes. So let me change the code set style so that we see what happens and how the code set styles are able to control the display style of a, of a corridor. So if I were to click on view edit, for example, let's see whether it changes. The corridor doesn't change by much, but let's see if I were to choose a, a code set style like uh, with hatching, all codes with hatching. You see now that the corridor is hatched. So how do you create such a, a code set style that controls the display of the, of the corridor? So that's what we're learning today. So here I'll go back to the tool space. I'll bring up the tool space and I'll go to the settings tab of the tool space. So we have four tabs here, the prospector tab, the settings tab, the survey tab, the toolbox. So I'll go to the settings tab and I'll navigate to the general settings. I'll expand this and then I expand the multipurpose styles and here you'll find the cost test styles here. So if you expand the cost test styles also, you'll see the various cost test styles that exist within this, this drawing. So the one we've selected is this one, all calls with hatching. Now I want to create a pattern of my own, a style of my own. I'll start with the all codes and then I copy that and we can call it hatching. Let's just call it hatching. And then on the codes, this is where the control happens. So for what we'll be controlling here for our pavement, for example, and our ditch, we will change the, the link codes. So the point codes form up these lines and then the link codes control the random the, the, the shape of the of the pavement itself or the display of the pavement itself. Okay, say so if I go to the links, so the topmost link is the pavement. So I want to change this material area to be of a different style. Currently, if you look at this for all codes, pavement is set to none, material area style area fill style, there's nothing there. So this is what we want to change into our own style. So we look at what style we can choose. So let's go to Pave. Let's just go to Pave and then we edit Pave. So I click here next to Pave. So I want to display my my hatching in a gray color. So I change this, so shape area fill. So you can leave this borderline to, I think this is magenta. 
you can leave that to magenta and then the shape area this is what we want to change to to gray for example so let me pick gray 253 there and if i want to change the the pattern i can change it but currently I, i'll just leave it at that so i leave it at at solid display and i click ok or oh, no i changed a, a, a wrong one i was supposed to change this one so let's change this again let's repeat so we go down there and pick pavement and then yeah so it's okay click okay here so this one we set it at none the way we found it so pavement here is set to pave so one other thing i want to change is the ditch i want to represent my ditch in a different way so where the water will be flowing from the pavement and the surrounding area and then removing the runoff from from the road so here i want to change it to let me see so we'll pick no shading and then we copy it and then we call it our drainage we call it drainage let's call it drainage and then for a display here we turn the visibility on so the borderline can be this color and then for the shape area yeah we can leave it at that or we can change it we can change it to something like this cyan because water looks like uh, water looks is usually represented in a blue color so here we can also change the, the pattern if you want we can do a predefined color or pattern i mean i can choose hex for example so that this contrasts so let me let me just pick what was there initially so that this contrasts with with this let me pick that again let me see browse oh yeah okay so let's let's just do the the ma ma the cyan because water is usually displayed as as blue color okay so we apply that and we click okay so we've changed two patterns so we've changed the ditch and we've changed the the pavement so we want to see where that displays in our new in our new style in our new code cell style so we apply that and we click okay so now it's time to change this code cell style from from what it is right now to what we've just created and what we've created is populated here you can see we've created this so we want to change that style that is displayed there to what we've just created i go to hatching i change that to hatching and i escape and as you can see the pavement is now is now gray and the drainage here is has this cyan uh, shape so this shape has a very big scale so we need to reduce this scale so that it looks at least better so let's go to back to hatching i double click i go to the links i look for ditch and i want to change this and to edit this so this scale looks quite a bit big so let me change it to 0.1 and then I apply and then we see how that looks like As you can see now the ditch looks a bit better the pattern now looks a bit better so here is a pavement there's a median here and then there's a drainage here so you can easily see right now that the styles show you what is happening on the corridor and that's how you you create your own code style hatch for your corridor if you like this video remember to like to share and to subscribe to the channel thank you